My name is Colin Schmidt. Mon nom est Robert Vacassi. Moi, je suis Wang Jinfeng. I'm Jennifer Buckingham. Glenn Whitener. And I am. I am. Cabot. Cabot. Cabot Microelectronics. My PhD, I major in polymer chemistry. It's helped my current job because I'm not only selling product to our customer, I'm kind of providing a solution to our, our customer. So I can talk with customers for technology. Uh, I understand uh, uh, their requirement, their issue, uh, what they want, what they need. I understand the customer language, so it's easy for me to communicate with customer. So I can kind of bridge in uh, the gap between our uh, scientists and with customer. I'm fortunate because I, I started at CMC in the right side when, when basically the uh, CMP, the CMP process was being adopted by the industries. And for, for five years, the first five years at Carbot has been phenomenal in the, in the, in the sense that we, we have had to invent a lot of these formulations in order to get market share and to develop our business. Five years ago, the company decided to move into the parts area, which is, which is completely new to us. And we came up with a process, especially with, you will learn about it, our D200, uh, process where we can completely change the game of the pad business. We, we can choose the properties of the pad material, we can play with different materials, different uh, porosity, different pore size, and this has changed the game of the industry. And there's, there's going to be, in my opinion, a lot of innovation to provide and a lot of things to discover. What I do here at Kybot Microelectronics, I look at bringing new technology that will allow us to manufacture our next pad product. We produce an intermediate product that is used to produce at our customer site an end product. Our customers are very technical. They're not end users. They are users of our product to get to an end, meaning it's basically a microchip. Microchip that goes into a phone or goes into a game console. Anything that uses CPUs or memory, uh, we are involved with that intermediate step. I can look at how they're you know, taking the slurry out of a drum, putting it into their system, blending it, diluting it, adding chemical to it, and then how it's pumped throughout the fab to get to the polishers where they actually do the polishing. By using my experience, I can say, you know, there are certain things that work well, there are certain things that work well under certain circumstances, and there are certain things that just don't work well at all. And by, you know, passing that information on to our customer, along with the, the details and the data that backs it up, it helps them to really fine tune their system so they have the, the smallest number of problems possible. It's a rewarding experience, especially when you can fix something. You get to walk out of there and you know that you just did a lot of good. You know, I, I work well in front of the customer. I like fixing problems. Um, I like identifying what's going on, being able to prove it, and that's kind of the reward is when you walk away and you know, hey, that was it, I fixed it. 